World War II veterans and their families filled the auditorium today at the Lawton Fort Sill Veterans Center. The idea for today's ceremony was inspired by the Oklahoma Honor Flights, which take vets to the memorials in Washington, D.C., but some vets are medically unable to make that trip, so they decided to honor these veterans here with a parade of patriots. 7 News reporter Catherine Gilker was at that ceremony and has more on the honor they received. Catherine. The parade of pa Patriot Ceremony was part of Operation 4G, which was created as part of the Oklahoma Honor Flights to serve those vets that couldn't make the trip to visit the World War II Memorial in Washington, D.C. The original mission of the Oklahoma Honor Flights was to send World War II vets to the nation's capital to visit the memorial, honoring their service in the war. But for those vets that can't make the flight, the Parade of Patriots was created to bring a little piece of the memorial to their hometowns. Jana Barker from the Board of the Oklahoma Honor Flights says the vets honored today are part of the grounded, greatest generation. The World War II veterans didn't have any kind of welcome service. They didn't have anything to, to tell them how grateful we are to be a free nation and to be saved from World War II. The 88 veterans are recognized today by name and branch of service. Gary Bands, co-founder and executive director of Oklahoma Honor Flights, says after his experience at the dedication of the memorial in D.C. with his own father and four uncles, he realized the need to start this program. That memorial was built so late in their lives that unless somebody intervened on their behalf and acted on their behalf, they would not, perhaps they would not have an opportunity to see the, the memorial. Eight vets from Lawton went on one of the honor flights in May of 2012, and veteran Marvin Moore says that it was well worth the trip. It's all a great thing to think about the guys that had lost their lives. At the ceremony, the veterans were escorted by ROTC members and each given a commemorative coin from the memorial. This was the first of seven ceremonies to recognize these special veterans. Thanks, Catherine. And so far, the Oklahoma Honor Flights have taken more than 1,000 veterans on flights to visit the memorials in Washington, D.C.